spirit filled, as they call it, or a born again Christian that's walking not after the flesh but after the spirit is one of knowing that there are certain things that happen in your life that are normal. Some things that you might not enjoy or want to be a part of that are going to happen to you irregardless of how you feel. That those things are going to come upon you. And I don't mean just trials and tribulations or you know challenges to your faith or maybe even circumstances of your life that maybe cause you to feel oh, a little bit uncomfortable in some way. But rather, what I'm talking about is kind of those times when you just don't see much happening and you want to generate something. You know, you kind of go, you know, nothing's happening. It's boring. You know, never mind that God had done such great marvelous things in your past or that you have such promises of what he's going to do in your future. Today, you just don't feel right. You don't feel like you're with it or somehow life just seems kind of dull and dreary. Like the weather. <laughs> when you're older, you begin to recognize those times as normal, that you've been through them before, and you'll go through them again. I love the song that Neil Diamond once sang called Lady Magdalene. He says, I'm sure that I've been this way before, and I'm sure that I'll be this way again, once again. And in that song, he expressed for me you know, a lot of scripture, and a lot of times in a lot of when I was growing up, Neil Diamond expressed to me a lot of emotions I had, and then in some of his songs, I kind of, I know he's not a Christian, you know, though Christians pray for him, um, and he's Jewish, but the, the songs were very soulful, you know, they, they spoke to me, and a lot of times, some of them I could see how, you know, his search for God, you know, was there inside that longing for, you know, the living God. And, you know, God forbid that, you know, I pray that he does get saved someday. <laughs> I hope so. It would be nice. kind of like to have him around, you know. It's kind of fun. Um, but in my days of knowing that certain things God would bring around again, I began to recognize seasons that I went through and then soulful feelings that I went through. And then also even sometimes just days where... It just seemed like maybe things weren't quite the way I wanted them to be, but that there were still things to be enjoyed irregardless. You know, that most of what I was feeling was oftentimes taking things for granted and not appreciating the things that I had. Like these bulbs that grew up so fast, you know, they're to my right. I'm amazed, you know, they died off already. You know, it's like, wow, man, they were such pretty little flowers. They, they grew from a bulb and went, shoom, bloomed up fast when it was warm, you know, got great green leaves, you know, and I was so thrilled. And then they wilted and died in the cold. Or behind me like these tulips that are purple, you know, they opened up before when it was warm and now they don't really open up anymore. But you see, off to my right also I see some tomato plants that are huge. They've grown up in such a large way, you know, and it's like, wow, that's hope for the future. I know there's one of them that has a little tomato on it somewhere. Oh, he's over there. I haven't moved him yet out of the wind because we have a windstorm coming in. But every day that we go through these emotions, we're going to deal with certain days that sometimes you just don't feel like you see the future as being so rosy. Because the past, though it's been better, today you feel kind of out of kilter. And it's not so much that anything is wrong, it's just not things aren't quite right the way you want them to be. And I understand that. You know, it says that to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. After a long time, the Lord of those servants comes and reckons with them. And so he that received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou hast delivered unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. And his Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. We must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or be bad. 
I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearing. Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast that which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. My thoughts lots of times wander towards things I want to do that I know I'm not going to do. You know, lots of times I want to do more videos or I want to do some church somewhere, you know, where I'd love to go and minister, you know, and be the pastor or, you know, some place I'd like to, you know, hang my hat and say, Hey, let's let's, you know, let's be a family of God until the Lord returns, you know, and grow up ourselves, you know, and develop together, you know, as a as a unity of body of believers, you know, growing in the knowledge of God, you know, and exercising faith, but also enjoying the goodness that God gives us in small ways, you know, the little ways that are important, like these little tomato plants, you know, being able to grow maybe three or four of them and share them with a bunch of people, you know, like, wow, look what God's done, cool, you know, but I know in some ways that won't happen, you know. Oh, you know, sure, I'll grow some tomato plants, you know, and I'll get a chance to eat them and share a few of them, but it's not going to be some mega enterprise. You know, I'll get a chance to, you know, touch people's eyes a little bit with some funky videos, you know, that are kind of so-so. And maybe they'll be blessed, you know, and inspired, you know, to move into ministry and do something for the Lord, you know, great, and go on to some mega ministry. But, you know... I think it's okay to keep it humble and simple in a very personal way, you know? Because I may not have, you know, the chance to be those things I want to be. I do have the chance today to spend some time with Jesus, to look to the sky and recognize that one day Him and I will be face to face. And I don't know about you. But just like the spirit flowing, you know, it just makes me happy to think one day we're going home. Maybe today isn't, you know, the best day in the world. Maybe today isn't going to get everything done that I want to get done, or maybe I won't get everything to do that I want to do in this life. But you know, I'm going to finish my course when one day God calls me home. And I just look up and say, thank you, Lord. But you know what? Just at the right time, you cracked me up. It was funny. <laughs> and it was just what I needed. Because on that day, I was kind of down and out, you know. And then when I watched one of your videos, you were down and out too. <laughs> and I figured if it could be good enough for him, it's good enough for me too. So maybe there might be one person out there today that's kind of thinking, you know... It just isn't the best day I'm having. But, by golly, it's a good day when I'm spending it with God. And I think that's probably more important than really all the other days when we feel like we're important or we feel like we're doing something good. Because when you don't feel like it and you just kind of think about Jesus and He makes you smile, I think that might be a little closer to God than we think it is. And some of those joyful times maybe are, oh, they're nice. But I think God's watching a little closer when we're kind of like, not quite with it, and still thanking Him for the day. Don't you? I do.